Well, in a day and age where traditional jazz, uh, live jazz music, especially by young people, is reclaiming its position and status, it's no surprise that young, gifted and on-the-ball female instrumentalists are helping shape the direction of the genre. Among them is Joni Mekwa Music Academy uh, of Gauteng graduate, who seems to have blown a, fr a wave of fresh air into the industry with a saxophone and amazing presence. Linda Shabalal is also a University of Cape Town jazz performance graduate, and if that doesn't convince you that she's one of the modern day jazz uh, real deals well we hope you saw her first performance on the show two uh, minutes ago well Lista, linda joins us now tell us more about her work good morning welcome to morning live thank you for having me great performance there let's talk about the day you connected with this genre that is jazz when did that happen sure um, that happened when I was very young. Mm. I was still um, maybe about nine, ten, mm -hmm. and my dad used to play a lot of jazz at home. He had LPs of all some of the greats like Miles Davis. Mm. So he would play every morning. Would would always progress from my dad jazz music, and then my mom plays soul music later on. So I just had that that sound always playing yeah. and I just knew from that age that I was going to be in music though I didn't know then that it was going to be jazz particularly. But what for you compelled you to take it up as a career? Oh wow, um, it was just the passion really, nothing more than just passion and also having seen um, um, the Music Academy of Gauteng Big Band years previously um, perform live at a festival and I saw a lady who was playing the saxophone and for me that just that really yeah. drew my attention and I was like if another woman can do such then why not I do and go for the same yeah. dream you know. And now who have been some of the biggest uh, influences in your music? Musically? Musically, yeah. Uh, wow. Brad Johnny has to be one of the first ones um, and there's been just like people like John Coltrane, Winston Mangungungozi, uh, Brahu Masigela. There's just tons of them, tons yeah. of them, yeah. What kind of mark would you like to leave in an industry where it's evolving and every day and every month there's some oh, wow. sort of involvement in this industry? Oh, wow. that's an amazing question. Because yeah. we always think, I think for every musician you think about that, yeah. so like the legacy you'd like to leave. Um, gosh. I just want to be remembered as one of those who pioneered truth, basically, being yourself and, and not just mastering yourself, but putting the best self, your best self mm. on the stage and even off stage, just being that person who just oozes of, of mm. just um, truth. Yeah, I can't think of any yeah. other word. Yeah. Let's talk to about the performance at Winnie's. Yeah. Uh, talk to us about that. What can we look forward to? Uh, you can look forward to original music, original music from myself and some of the band members that will be playing with me on the day. Uh, it's going to be a quartet um, that's a, a trio of jazz, drum and, uh, and bass and also myself on saxophone and there'll also be a vocalist as well who's mm -hmm. a very good friend of mine. Yeah. Ticket prices, time or time do you start? Um, it starts at 8 p.m. Ticket prices are 80 rand mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it's at Winnie's. In Santon. I just yeah. saw Santon this Yeah, <laughs> Winnie's, and it's yeah. in Wendywood to yeah. be particular. Yeah. Oh, in Wendywood? Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, Linda, thank you so much. Oh, okay. Seems like we can continue our conversation. Oh, okay. I thought we had less time. <laughs> okay, we've given us more time. Right. Now, what would you say to an aspiring musician who is struggling to find their path or voice in an industry oh, like wow. this? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'd, stay, I'd tell them to stay strong. And, and never lose hope and never lose themselves in, in that quest to become whoever they want to be or whatever they want to be. And never be discouraged by anybody else's or outside opinions mm. outside of themselves. Always believe in, in what they have. Yeah. Because it's the truth, yeah. Any album on the horizon somewhere? Um, yeah, soon, I'm hoping. I'm yeah. hoping within the next two years I'll be able to record my own album. Yeah. There. And if logistics and money were not an issue, who is the one person that you would love to contribute to the dream that is the album? That I would love have yeah, contributed yeah. to the... Ooh, wow. And geez. money was, and logistics were not an issue. It was just there. It was given to you. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, I'd love to have people like uh, Salif Keita on the album. Yeah. I'd love to have Matosini um, on the album. I'd like to have... Um, oh, wow. Brahu on the album, yeah. 
so many. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Linda, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank uh, you. Good luck with the performance uh, from David Tinine Kudlen. Her name is Linda Shabalala. She's a jazz saxophonist who has been through three music institutions, which include mm -hmm. the University of Cape Town to refine a craft. And then on the 18th of September, she will perform at Winnie's Soul and Jazz Restaurant in Windywood Sand. More details on www.winnies.co.za.